Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia back with yet another video. Today's video I'm going to be doing something different. You guys know that I typically do not service clients under the age of 12. But I have one of my favorite clients, Shakira. If you don't know who she is, she is my blue hair client. She has supported me throughout the years. This is her niece. So out of the love I have for Shakira, just being a dope ass person and client, I just felt the honor to do her niece's first ever silk press and trim. So shout out to you again for trusting me. I know that we built a really close relationship over the years, but the fact that she allowed me to style her niece for the first time ever, I felt so honored. And also shout out to you for allowing me permission to post her. I recorded this about two weeks ago, but you guys know how I am when it comes to children. I typically try not to post them just because people can be weird on the internet and I don't like causing, you know, weird situations. So I always ask to make sure that they are comfortable. So her niece came in and she has this curly hair texture. I cannot remember her name off the top of my head, which is horrible. I have a horrible memory um, charted to my head and not my heart, but she was super awesome. She came in with some braids, so all I did was take her hair out, I detangled it, and now I'm just going in with the shampoo. Today's video, I will be using products by Leaf and Flower. They sent me a whole entire PR kit, so shout out to you guys. They reached out to me a couple weeks ago on Instagram, and they wanted to send me some goodies. So I'm going in with their CBD infused line, and I had to do some research on this because I know like most people you think like oh my god CBD weed but it does not have any THC which is what causes you to get high it's literally CBD which is very good for your hair they sent me the instant damage correction shampoo which I'm using and I'm also using the conditioner that is paired with that and then what I'm also putting on here just before I forget but instead of me using my normal um, oil I am going to go in with their CBD molecular oil so I just wanted to throw that out there just in case I forget and I will of course be sure to link all of that down below I'm actually in my salon suite now. It is Wednesday and I have about 30 minutes until my next client comes. So I figure what better time to get this voiceover done than now. So I'm just going in, giving her three shampoos. You guys, you guys know I like to do three shampoos with every client. And based off of the client's needs, I do switch up the product. So for her, I just did a deep cleanse because she did have a little bit of like lint in her hair. And then after that, I went in with the moisturizing shampoo. And then I'm going in with the... um the leaf and flower products but typically that's what i do for this video let me stop capping i just told y'all what i was using i'm going in with the leaf and flower products strictly only for her but normally i would um go in with new products and still use what i normally use but for her her hair wasn't super coarse it actually kind of reminded me a little bit of olivia's hair just a little bit curlier so again i wanted to see how this product line would do against build up so for this video i am going in with just the leaf and flower product line only okay so i'm just going to finish shampooing her i am making sure to thoroughly scratch her scalp without scratching her too hard you just want to make sure you're lifting up any dirt dandruff and oil because this is her first press and she normally wears it naturally or curly or with her um braids i just wanted to make sure that i got any hair products any residue any sweat or oils out of her scalp and i'm constantly asking her is this okay am i being too rough and i'm always testing the temperature of the water on my hand prior to putting it on her head and then I also asked my clients does this feel comfortable for you so just enjoy the shampoo portion and I will be back in just a few moments and you guys already know if you have not already your girl is in a competition to be on a tv show okay so if you could just scroll down to the link in my description and vote for me if you scroll to the bottom of the link you get a free vote or you can purchase votes now I'm not asking you guys by any means to pay for votes but if you could just use that one free vote to vote for your girl for a chance to possibly be on tv that would mean the world to me. Um, I also posted in my community tab as well as updates. So far in my group, I am number one. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has voted for me. But I just want to keep that momentum going. Um, this is just the first round. I think there's like four or five rounds. But each round, they narrow it down to more people. And your girl is just trying to make it in this big world, okay? So I would really appreciate it if you just took the time to do that. As well as hitting the like button follow me on here and of course following your girl on instagram at underscore cassandra olivia because the no i'm just kidding so i'm just gonna finish shampooing her i did give her a deep conditioning with the steam because all little girls need love and affection and i just want to treat her hair and now i don't talk through the whole part oh my goodness so let me just keep going so this is the molecular oil i was just talking about i'm just putting a little squirt of this and then i'm just going to apply this all over my hands and then thoroughly distribute this throughout her hair
I am going in with my Paul Mitchell 427 paddle brush and my Rust Speed Freak blow dryer. Again, I will link everything that I'm using down below. And if for any reason I ever forget to link something, I always have it on my Amazon store. So be sure to check those out if you guys want the exact products that I'm using. They're always there and they're readily available for you guys, okay? Um, you guys already know if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. I'm so glad that I'm able to help people that are maybe learning to do something new, learning to do natural hair, or just somebody who wants to learn hair in general, might be in hair school. I really do appreciate you guys for reaching out and just letting me know that my videos do help you guys. That literally means the world to me. So again, thank you, friend, in Zoe's voice. Thank you, friend. <laughs> I really do appreciate all the love. So now that she's all blown out, I didn't leave the whole blow dryer because I have several tutorials on how to do this. And we did take a little mini break after. So if you guys want to know how to blow dry, just go on my channel. I have several blow dry tutorials, but I just went in, I blow dried her hair, and I'm just making sure that everything is dry prior to me going in with my flat irons. Um, there's still a couple left on the website, so I will link that down below as well as the 10% YouTube code for you guys to get a discount off of the flat iron. And now, um, since they don't have like a spray, I am going in with my Influence S3 spray um, prior to doing her hair. And I just want to make sure that I evenly distribute this throughout her hair so that way we don't have any heat damage and everything is nice and protected. So now I'm just sectioning her hair out in subsections and I'm just going to go through um, because it's her first time getting a hair press, I wanted to take smaller sections and then I am going to go back around and hit the roots. It's okay to do two or three passes um, because, again, this is her first press and I do have my iron on 450. But just make sure you gauge it based off of your client's hair texture and type. My irons do go all the way up to 480, but I rarely have to use it on that setting. My comfort zone is 450 um, just because her hair is a mix between like curly and coily. So I just want to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence and thoroughly getting her roots and her hair straight because this did have to last her a couple of days. Um, so I'm just going to continue pressing her out with my irons and I'll be back in just a second. I do apologize that I'm on here sniffling too, guys. My allergies have been kicking my ass the last couple of days. Um, but we did take a little break. Sis told me she was hungry. I was here with my client Shakira's um, daughter. Not daughter. Oh, my goodness. Her sister and her niece. So I treated them to Chick-fil-A. And I figured I'd just add this little part in here. But we was grubbing, honey. We were here chilling for a while. Um, I know Shakira didn't get off work till later. So I told her just to drop them off. I would chill with them until she picked them up. And you guys know I'm a sucker for children. So... I was like, I'll DoorDash anyway, so y'all want a little nugget, little fry? Come on, like, let's chill. So I added that little increment in here because she noticed my crystals in my suite, and she was asking me about it, and then she showed me her crystal necklace, and I just thought that was so cute. Like, she's such a freaking vibe, so definitely wanted to add that in here. But I'm just going to continue pressing her out, and then I'll show you guys how I trim her hair towards the end. Now for this hair trim, I am sitting down because she is so short, but I wanted her to stand straight up just because she was wiggling just a little bit in the chair and I wanted to try to get this trim in as precise as possible. Now, you guys know for every client, I just like to customize my hair trim. It's not a one size fits all. I just kind of look at the natural hair shape, hair shape and I try to figure out where it looks thin and like 
what's the best way to trim the ends without making it a straight line straight across because that's like the old school way of trimming right people felt like you just had to take it straight across it doesn't matter what's good what's not just make it even my approach is more so like follow the natural shape of the hair go in trim the ends the way that you need to start your guideline and then pull it out at a 90 degree angle and then just take out what needs to be taken out in the middle i am like so congested right now so i know i sound super crazy i do apologize but i just want to get this video out of this little cutie who came to visit me and this is just shakira's sister on the side and she did come towards the end so again i'm just pulling her hair at a 90 degree angle if you guys want to know how i trim hair i do actually have a video of that on my channel as well so be sure to check that out i just posted it a couple days ago week ago i don't know but it's it's pretty recent so just check that out if you guys struggle with hair cutting or hair trimming i do have a couple of those videos on my channel as well so once we were done i just looked at everything i made sure to go back and clean up every single thing and now i'm just going to go in with my flat irons and i'm just going to curl her hair and then i am going to pin curl it up just so that way when shakira comes to get her hair done and i do her sister who is also behind her it'll last the whole entire time so i did her first her sister and then i did shakira so knowing that she's a little kid and she's going to want to play in her hair and it's not going to last i said how about i curl this and then pin it up and then i will take it out later on so she had these pins in for about two hours and um i will show you guys how they look once they are done and then i'm going to show you guys how we style them whenever you do pin curls a lot of people feel like the curls have to be perfect for you to pin them up my thing is as long as you have like a nice little wave or bend in there when you pin it up it's just going to make the curl even tighter so don't stress too much about trying to get the curls perfect i used to do that when i first got out of hair school i felt like oh my god the curls have to be perfect and then i pin it now it's like the curl can be a little bit loose i'm just going to pin it tight uh pin it nice and tight and then i'm going to use some hairspray and that's going to set the actual real curl that i want so you'll see what i mean so these are a little bit tighter the ones in the back were a little bit looser but again it does not matter as long as you know how to pin curl the hair you can kind of like cheat a little bit when it comes to pin curling hair because it's sitting in that formation for a long time is going to cause the curl to form either way so you don't have to be super super picky or particular with that so again i'm just showing you guys one little section i did have nails on i actually took them off already because i'm going to do my own set these are just a little bit too long for me and as you can see i was struggling just a tiny bit so i'm going in with my bio silk natural hold and a little bit of bio silk shine on shakira is actually standing there in the background now she just got off from work so we were key keying it up and I'm just going to take these pins all out. And as you can see, the curls are going to be tight. But don't worry, this is not how we are going to leave it. I'm going to run my fingers through, my comb through. Whatever you feel as though you need to run through your client's hair, make sure that you take your time. You do not have to rush. If it takes me five minutes to run my fingers through, then that's what it's going to take. Um, I feel like a lot of times we have so much pressure into getting things right the very first time or the second you let it down. But it's okay. Let it shape into its own hairstyle, meaning that... I'm going to judge it a little bit and play around with the hair just for a couple minutes, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do. And um, I'm going to speed it up just a tiny bit, but it maybe took me about five minutes to style her just because I wanted to make sure every piece was laying the way I wanted it to. I wanted to have body, but not too much. So I just continually play with it until it did what I wanted to do. And you don't have to worry about the curls coming out because again, I use plenty of spray and I pin curled it. So it's always going to have that curl form. And if it gets a little too loose, I can always go back in and pin curl it a little bit more. But just be mindful. Just do what you have to do until it comes out right. Like, this is cute, but I know it can look better. So I'm just going to go in and literally tweak this until she is all done. So now that I've talked you guys heads off, <laughs> I would really appreciate if you guys could, again, vote for me if you can. Um, use a free vote. Again, I'm not asking you guys to pay for votes, but with the one free vote that you do get, I'm just asking that you guys can do that anything additional i definitely do appreciate and to the people who have paid for votes i feel so so lucky and honored because that is so major to me that you guys even want to spend a single dollar on me i'm very appreciative of that so i don't take anything for granted i just don't want you guys to feel pressure like oh my god i have to pay for this like you definitely don't have to um all i care about is you watching my content and that is good enough for me so with that being said i'm going to finish judging her and then i am going to wrap her hair this little diva i had to wrap her hair about three or four different times because by the time her appointment was done, she was getting up and playing and doing different things. But it was okay. I knew that we were going to be there for a while. So I'm just going to go in. I'm going to comb her hair out just for a little bit. Show you a couple of different ways. I'm going to style it personally. Once she's done, I am going to leave the wrap in just in case you guys want to see how I wrapped her hair. And this pretty much concludes the end of this video. I'm getting ready to set up for my next client. And I hope everybody has a wonderful and productive evening slash day. Because it will probably be evening when I post this. But again, 
Thank you guys so much. And please, if you can, follow your girl on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.